Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. We are getting going on boil number four and I have assembled the team today. Dad is in here keeping his eye on the boil. I have got mom and Taylor, my crack stickering team. They are out here working on getting everything stickered, labeled, and hang tagged. So this is a super productive Wednesday afternoon. We're gonna try to get ripping through, um, I think it is about another 150 gallons of sap this uh, afternoon slash evening. Take that all the way to finish and get those bottled up and we're gonna get everything stickered from our first three boils and uh, get them ready to start getting them distributed to folks and uh, start bringing in a little bit of money. None of these are paid endorsements, none of these are like product affiliations or whatever. But uh, I got my stickers from a place called Sticker Mule. Uh, they were the, I looked a handful of different places online and they were the only ones, uh, well the first ones, let me not say the only, I'm sure there are others out there. But they were the first ones I was able to find that did the clear vinyl stickers because I wanted that, uh, I wanted the clear vinyl so the uh, syrup would be the re relief behind my logo. So that place was called Sticker Mule. I got the hang tags from this print place called Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. I was really happy with the hang tags. I thought they turned out great. They were on a nice, uh, heavy piece of card stock. And considering my logo has like six colors in it, I think they were pretty reasonably priced for, for how nice the material was. And you know, that's a bit more complicated of a print having all those different colors. But the place that I 100% would recommend, the cheapest place that I've been able to find bottles in three years of looking was the Fillmore Bottle Company. F-I-L-L-M-O-R-E, Fillmore uh, Bottle Company. They were the cheapest place that I have been able to find, like I said, in three years. Every, years I, every year I have looked for a cheap place to get my bottles. You know, there's um, the... the, the, bomb, the I'm blanking. The, the the maple catalogs that they send out, I'm blanking on what that's called. But uh, those are, you know, three bucks a pop. The Fillmore Bottling Company, I was able to get those 12-ounce syrup bottles for uh, like 98 cents a piece. It was eleven ninety five for a case of 12, and the shipping was not outrageous either. I want to say I shipped uh, just shy of 300 bottles, and it was just over 200 bucks to ship. So... Uh, all in all, it was about $500 to get the bottle shipped. And that was way less expensive than any of the other places that uh, I have gotten bottles from before and any of the other places that I've been able to find online. It was actual like wholesale prices and considering 300 isn't really very wholesale, you know, the prices do get better the more you buy. But uh, definitely was really happy with everything that I bought, but I would 100% recommend Fillmore Bottling Company for those, those cute little syrup bottles with the rings. I guess at some point, maybe I should have actually showed you guys the bottle and the label. So there's my logo in the, uh, in the monochrome in white. Got the nice little hang tag. Cincinnati, Ohio shout out. And a little blurb. You already follow us though. Yeah. Well, I don't think I've done a video in the last like three that hasn't required a retraction, but uh, it's a lot easier than going back and trying to refilm it all. It is the Fillmore Container Company, not the Fillmore Bottle Company. So if you're looking for uh, all different sorts, I think they had plastics, they had glass, all kinds of stuff. It's the best prices that I've been able to find online. 
Well, getting down to the end of another boil. Lots of good dark color. We're getting some 219 degree readings. So that's telling us that we're real close, but the refractometer is telling us we're not quite there yet. So we're actually, we're letting the fire start to cool down and just gonna kind of let it slowly creep its way up. Then we'll draw her off through the filter and get this round bottled up. What do you guys use for bottles? Do you use purpose-built syrup bottles? Do you get like those woozy bottles off of Amazon, like little hot sauce bottles? Uh, what do you use? Have you found a cheaper place than me? Because I'm always looking for something cheaper. Well guys, I went back and reviewed the numbers that I had written down over on my calendar. You know, I keep track of uh, sap collection numbers and everything every day. It was uh, over 200 gallons actually that we ran between, we started uh, Monday, today's Wednesday, we wrapped it up today. So we finished up a little bit over seven gallons of syrup. And uh, we're all pretty worn out because this was, uh, this was second shift today after we all got done with everything we had to do during the regular day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little update. Like the video if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time y'all, we will see you.